Number 30. In this figure here, a block of mass M lies on a horizontal frictionless surface and it is attached to one end of a horizontal spring whose other end is fixed. The block is initially at rest at the position where the spring is unstretched when a constant horizontal force F in the positive direction of the x-axis is applied to it. A plot of the resulting kinetic energy of the block versus its position x is shown in this figure here. The scale of the figure's vertical axis is set by Ks equals to 4 joules. So this value here is equal to 4 joules. Letter A, what is the magnitude of F? And letter B, what is the value of K? So in this problem here, we're just going to use the work kinetic energy theorem. So the change in the kinetic energy that we are going to get the values from this graph over here is equal to the work done. And in this case, we have two different works that we have to take in account. One of them is the work done by the spring. And the other one is the work done by force F. The work done by the spring is pretty simple. It's just 1 over 2K initial position squared minus 1 over 2K the final position squared. And the work done by the force F, since its value is constant, we can just use the, its force times delta x, which is the final position, right? Because it starts at x equals to zero. So let's let me just replace this by uh, fx, okay? So those are the, the two works that we have, and then we can just apply to the information of this graph over here. For example, let's consider this point over here. So at that point over there, we know that delta k, the, the change in the kinetic energy, is from 0 to 4. So let me write this like this. So this is 4, which is equal to this equation over here. However, since the initial position is always 0, this I can cross that out. So equal to minus 1 over 2 k. Final position is 1. 1 is squared plus f times 1. Okay, so we have one equation over here which is equal to 1, f, 4, sorry, minus k over 2 plus f. So this is the first equation that we have. And we can have another equation by getting the information at this point over here. So at this final point over there, we have that the kinetic energy is zero, and we have that the final position is two plus f times two. So this gives us zero equal to minus two k plus two f. Okay, so now we have two different equations and two things that we don't know. So we have here 4 equals to minus k over 2 plus f and 0 equals to minus 2k plus 2f. And then we just need to solve those equations because we have two equations and two things that we don't know. So it's pretty easy to solve. So let's first find f. So I'm going to isolate k from this equation over here. So from this equation, we will find that k is equal to f. So replacing this in the first equation, we have that 4 is equal to minus f over 2 plus f. So we have that 4 is equal to f over 2. That means that f is equal to 8 newtons. So that's the answer of letter A, the magnitude of F is 8. And we already know that K is equal to F, so K is equal to 8 newtons per meter. Just take care of the units here because it, this is just the, 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 the number that it's the same, not the, the same unit. So this is the answer of letter A and this is the answer of 
letter B.